Rasmus Hodgland had another disappointing afternoon for Manchester United in their derby defeat to rivals Manchester City. Rasmus Hodgland bore the disorientated and slightly seasick look of someone who had been trapped in a tumble dryer for 73 minutes when he dejectedly was hauled off early by Eric Ten Hag yesterday. There was booing from the United faithful as he departed. Not towards the Dane, but towards Eric Ten Hag's decision to take his £72 million striker off. Old Trafford recognizes the talent and the effort, but in this United team, their star signing is struggling to keep his head above water. At 20, he has, to, by his own admission, a lot to learn still, and in the company of the European champions, it showed. Caught on the city carousel yesterday as the apex of a United side who did not know. Whether they were coming or going, it was a dizzying ride and not in a fun way. Hodgland gave away the penalty for City's opening goal and ran down a cul-de-sac when presented with the chance to make amends while United were still in the contest in the first half. He has shown glimpses of his hold-up skills, his strength, and the link-up play at United, and he never stops running, but for all his endeavor you can see the confidence beginning to drain. That is seven games and seven blanks for Hodgland in the Premier League. Any comparison with Erling Haaland is invidious, but at the same stage of his career across Manchester he had 11 goals. Hodgland ranks in the bottom 10 of players in the Premier League for expected goals this season. Numbers can be made to mean anything but translated. That means he is struggling to hit a barn door with a banjo. The penalty concession was harsh. Rod Ree made the most of the chance to go down once he felt Hodgland's hands on him, but the blunder at the other end after Phil Foden had inadvertently put him through showed a striker grasping too hard for the lifeline of his first league goal for his new club. One clumsy touch, one toe in from John Stones, and the chance had evaporated. Nothing resembling it appeared for the rest of the afternoon. 